Cedar sinai is one of the largest deliverers of health care on the West Coast. We run a large primary care network, and at the same time, we also deliver the most complex, complicated quaternary and tertiary services, programs which really require the highest medical skill and talents in the nation. Cedar sinai has gone through a tremendous transformation. We went from a high-quality, community-based hospital to an academic powerhouse. One of the great advantages we have, of course, is living in one of the most wonderful and diverse cities in the country, and it doesn't hurt that the climate isn't too bad either. We are blessed by a great environment, intellectually as well as personally, and that allows us to have the very brightest trainees who make our chances for continuing to push things forward and innovate even greater. Our fellows are exposed to you know, some of the most acute disease in the country, really. It's a very busy hospital, it's a very busy ICU. They rotate through the cardiac ICU, through the neuro ICU, through the medical and surgical ICU, and they're able to work in any environment. What shocked me the most was one of the first days that I walked into our cardiac surgery ICU and I saw how many patients were on ECMO and how much was involved with all of this. We have a highly complex patient population. We look after patients from our heart transplant program, patients having undergone routine cardiac surgery, patients on extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. So undoubtedly it's the sickest unit in all of Cedar sinai Medical Center and a really exciting place to work. Mentorship is really important because it helps someone develop and mature and we're so busy in training, trying to learn and, and grasp everything, and sometimes it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. And just having someone to guide you through that and to advise you and to reach out to if you have questions and concerns, it's really important. As a fellow, you're there purely for your benefit, which is to learn and to gain experience. And I think that allows you to kind of relax and just focus on what you want to get out of your fellowship. There's just an amazing amount of research in translational science. There are incredible clinicians, researchers, and people in labs who are doing things that are very relevant to anesthesia. And careers that really blossom often happen at the intersection of care. So those kinds of opportunities are, are really abundant at Cedar sinai What really makes everything run is really the people. It is very collegial here. Everyone's willing to teach as well as learn. Honestly, that's the best thing about working here. There's a moment where fellows look at you and they see something new. It's that aha moment. They've climbed a hill, they've gotten better at something, and it means that you're doing everything right. It's why we're here to educate the next generation, and that's the reason to do what I do every day. Whoever trains here is going to get an experience that they wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. And from the training you get here, you could go anywhere and be put in any situation and you would be able to manage it successfully. That's what this fellowship sets you up for.